Good morning, good day, evening, whatever, wherever you at. Uh, this is a cross section of the DNA. It's the flower of life. It holds the golden ratio. Um. <laughs> anyway, um, thanks to Fire Cat for that. You know, and I go back to my art there, the flower there. I didn't even. I don't know why I didn't even click with me there. Um. That. Um. Anyway. Here we go on that. Let's see. Hey, just give me a second. <laughs> I just think this is fascinating stuff. Uh, people don't even think about it. I mean, like I said, I didn't even think about it until I seen that post by Firecat there. Um, I was like, oh shit. Uh, flower of life meaning margin application effect. Uh, the symbol, the symbol called the flower of life or life's flower consists of 19 overlapping and interconnected circles. It always consists of 19 circles, no more, no less. <coughs> Originates in one circle and all of the circles are built up around that. That means by B, that means you begin by drawing one circle and then continue drawing all the other circles around it. The symbol of the flower of life belongs to sacred geometry, which believes that all life is part of a divine geometric plan. All structures known to us are following this plan. Evidently, evidently the flower of life is a very important geometric symbol. And they elaborate on it. And there are symbols like that. There's many, many see the flower of life as a symbol that represents or depicts the cycle of creation. Yes, it does. And it's, you know, the golden ratio there. It shows that all life and consciousness arises from one source. Like I've been saying here, you know, we're all one. There, everything's part of this plan there. The, anyway. Uh, and it's just talking about it there, uh, the cycle of it, what it stems from, the fruit of it, cycle of a fruit tree. <laughs> when observing this cycle, we can see it grows flower buds, and they eventually transform into fruit. Like, you know, like we do when we grow up, we flower if you will, um, anyway, um, there's a lot more about it, there anyway, see there, look familiar, Metatron's cube, anyway, I'm not going to go no more into that, I'll leave the links there, uh, here's another, wait, shit, where'd that one go? Oh, yeah, I'll get to that one in a second. And here's more about it. Makes a symmetry like a hexagon. You see the, uh, in the pagan sense, it's believed to contain a type of Akashic record a basic information of all living things and is the visual expression of the connections of life that run through all sentient beings. Uh, and it's been known to philosophers, architects, and artists around the world. <laughs> so, uh, I'm not going into that new age shit. Uh, the flower of life symbol represent, represents important meaning to many throughout history and can be found in manuscripts, temples, and art throughout cultures around the world. The most common form of the flower of life is a hexagonal pattern where the center of the circle, of each circle, I'm sorry, is on the circumference of six surrounding circles of the same diameter. I said that in the other one. And here's some other stuff about Metatron's cube and all that there. And there, you know, the seed of life it talks about there, about the fruit. Uh, let's see, go into other stuff here. And then there's Metatron's cube. Like I said, don't that look familiar? Anyway, hmm. Okay.
Okay, I ain't gonna go no more. You can read any more of that stuff. And here's Metatron. If y'all know who Metatron, they say Metatron is. It's really more like symbol symbolism of the flower of life here. It says pretty basically, see, uh, it goes in the Bible and all that crap, but get down to it, that's what it means. You see the Metatron's cube there, it's the flower of life, which represents the golden ratio. <laughs> so, see, there you go. Anyway, I don't get into that Bible shit, y'all know. I'm just looking at the symbolism of this here. And also, you know, this ain't the flower of life, but it's the sacred lotus. And it's shit. I'm sorry. And there's the Hindu goddess holding a and standing on a lotus. There you go. And the place of center role in Indian religions has many different names there. And here's the symbolism. Uh, it's often used as an example of divine beauty, purity. And Vishnu is often described as the lotus eyed one. And the lotus springs from his navel. Uh, lotus. Let's see. The lotus. This unfolding petal suggests the expansion of the soul, the growth of its pure beauty from the mud of its origin, holds a benign spiritual promise. Uh, it's one of the, how do you say that word, of Buddhism, representative of creation and cosmic renewal and primordial purity. That's why I put it with this, because of that their representation of creation and cosmic renewal there. Uh... And it shares in the chakra and mandala symbolism of the Dharma Kaka, however you say that. Also has taken root in Chinese cultures. This famous statement made by Confucian scholar. I love the lotus because while growing from mud, it is unstained. It's held to be a flower with a thousand petals and associated with that, however you say it, and indeed all the chakra. It appears as an endemic dais upon which deities rest I don't get into all that stuff but it just their connection with the flower of life there and symbol of uh, creation represented a creation and cosmic renewal there anyway uh, I'll leave these this stuff you can look at there uh, and there's another about the lotus flower as well crap that was from wiki it's so pretty look at that it's a nice tattoo there there you go uh as the flower retreats back into the water during the hours of darkness to rise again at dawn and is therefore sometimes seen as a symbol of death and rebirth as well there so look at that it's very similar to the flower of life there. So, anyway, um, just, I just wanted to do this because, you know, I've seen that and think of my flowers that I paint and draw and wow, you know. Anyway, thanks to Firecat again for that. So, um, I hope everybody has a great day or is having a great one. If it ain't, I hope it gets better. Uh, anyway, I'll see y'all. Uh,. <laughs> I'll see y'all. Anyway, uh, have, take care, much love, and I'll see you. Mm.